So I did a brake job on a Honda Accord the other day, and these are the brakes that came off of it. I wanted to show you these brake pads because this is what a brake pad should look like when it comes off a vehicle. And what I mean by that is because there are certain wear patterns that will happen to a brake pad depending on the condition of the calipers. Sometimes one side of the caliper will stick and uh, that means you'll get a brake pad that wears more on one, side, on one pad than the other. So for example, the outer pad could wear less than the inner pad or vice versa. Or you could have groove marks in it or it could be tilted like that, the brake material. But this is what a brake pad should look like once you pull them off. And what you'll see here is that these pads have worn down very, very evenly. So there's one brake pad, right? Almost to the metal, but not quite. Here's another pack brake pad. Almost to the metal, but not. And as you can see right here, so let me point this out to you. So this ridge right here where the knife is, this is the brake pad material. This right here on the left side of it is the metal for the brake pad where the brake pad material actually sits onto or bonds to the metal. As you can see, this line right here is very even. The way this brake, these brake pads wore down was excellent. This is how you want to see a brake pad wear. This one as well. This one as well. This, this is the way brake pads should look like. There is some heat damage you can see. See these cracks right here in the brake pad material? That means that this brake pad had gotten hot at once in its life. Now a key factor that determines whether a brake pad wears correctly or not is on a brake caliper there are pins, there are guide pins on the top and the bottom and those move in and out with your brake pedal. So as you apply pressure, uh, obviously the brake caliper would move in. As it's released, the brake caliper moves out, pushing together on a rotor. So I have a rotor right here. As you can see, this thing has seen some heat as well. There's little tiny hairline cracks inside this rotor. It's best, best practice to do is when you do a brake job, is turn your rotors if you, if you can. And when I mean turn them, they'll take them to a machine. You can either go to O'Reilly, AutoZone, um, you could call your local uh, auto repair place, ask them if they'll turn rotors for you, they'll charge you some money, bring cash and they'll turn them for you. Because you want to get this surface nice and level before you put the brand new pads back on. This rotor wore very evenly. You can see this side and this side are almost the same thickness. I could bust out my micrometer, measure these, but I think this side is a little bit thinner than this side here. So as your caliper goes in and out, take this brake pad, it obviously presses against the rotor to stop your car. There are guide pins on the caliper that need to be greased. You can't use any grease. You have to use a specially designed grease that's used for brake pin calipers, or pins on brake calipers, I should say. What I like to use is Napa Silaglide. This, this is the stuff that I used on the guide pins for these brake pads on the Honda Accord. So as you can see, this did very well. Picked this up from Napa, part number is 7651351. Lubricating compound, non-melting, non-freezing, non-gumming, weatherproof. Prevents pad squeal, emanates caliper sticking, squeaking fan belts, trunk seals, and weather stripping. Contains silicone. So this stuff, I highly, highly recommend it when you guys do brake brake jobs because you want to grease up your caliper pins before you assemble everything together. If you don't, you run into the possibility of having uneven wear on your brake pads. That's all I wanted to show you. I don't know if you call it a quick tip or a DIY guide, call it what you want. The takeaway from it is always lube up your brake caliper pins. Always, always, always. So there you go. Quick tip on what to look for when changing out your brake pads in your rotors, check your caliper pins, and you should see this kind of wear. This brake pad, these brake pads, barely started making noise when I changed them out. 
I actually found it by going in reverse and stepping on the brake and that's when I heard it. Probably because they started shifting around inside the, the brake caliper. If you have found any of my videos helpful, please consider subscribing to Bunny's Garage on YouTube. Questions, comments, concerns, you can always reach out to me at bundysgarage at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Bunny's Garage. And like always, I'll keep them rolling for you.